My dear sister passed away and left me many of her lovely antiques. I knew she loved oriental rugs, but in looking around, I couldn't find one I had seen in her library on a previous visit. Finally, I found that beautiful rug, but I was really puzzled as to where it was stored. She had folded it up and moved it to the corner of her garage. Nevertheless, I was thrilled to take possession of what I remembered was a valuable, beautiful rug. Mrs. Virginia from Arizona sent me this rug. Miss Virginia don't have no dog, no cats, none, but she inherited this rug. The rug is laid on the vacuum floor. Nobody touched the rug after me walking out from here. So, the vacuum is under the rug. Now the vacuum is from under the rug. I'm taking the blended minerals from the Dead Sea and put it on the rug. So all of this can be go through the rug and repeat itself for several times. This cleaning product, it's organic, eatable, they taste bitter like the Dead Sea. If one of you was in the Dead Sea, they know this product, it's very healthy. So here's the product. I can put it in my mouth. It's, it's healthy and environment. Now, because the rug is made from vegetable dye, it's very important for me to keep the color vibrant and shine. So this product here is not a Home Depot, it's not. It's just a very, very, very strong vinegar. I'm putting on the rug, bunch of it. This vinegar will hold the color so it's not going to run. And so now I'm going to flood the rug and vacuum from underneath. And everything what it come from here will go through the tube and show me what's coming from this rug what chemical C O I T use to clean this rug. It's a soap, enzyme, deodorized, basically a PP vanilla still in the rug. As I drove home from California to Arizona with the very heavy folded rug in my SUV, I noticed a putrid smell filling the car. It then dawned on me why my sister had banished the rug to the garage. Her dogs had urinated on the rug and the smell had become intolerable for my sister. I then decided I would not take it home without having it cleaned. So I drove directly to Coit Rug Cleaners in Phoenix and dropped it off. The water then it's under the rug, will go through the system, will go through the filters and go back again to here and show me what's coming from this rug. So when I will see here all the soap, the dog saliva, everything will go from here, go back to the rug and when it become really dirty, I throw it away and I put a brand new product. This process repeats itself many times. When I finish the process completely, done, kaput, here will be clear, the same water coming in, the same water coming out. It was expensive to clean, but I thought I was going to have my sister's wonderful rug in my home soon. The smell was much better, and I put it out on the floor of my own library to enjoy and remember my dear sister. After a few months, my housekeeper mentioned she was vacuuming the rug and noticed it had an odor. I hadn't noticed anything in particular and so just dismissed the idea. A few months passed and I went traveling for three weeks on business. When I returned home and walked in my home, it hit me. A smell was definitely coming from my sister's rug. I now know that in living with the rug, I had become used to the smell. I 
I was shocked that I hadn't noticed that terrible stench. House guests and visitors must have been noticing it for some time, and I was completely unaware. What failed with the cleaning I had done in Phoenix? How disappointing. So this morning, I scoured the internet and looked at advertising videos and YouTube demonstrations by companies all over the country. Arizona has several companies that claim to remove pet odors. After watching and comparing all the videos, I was not convinced that they would do a good job removing the pee smell and guarantee their work. When I saw and listened to Mayor Martin and his company Pet Pee Pee, I knew he would give my rug the best cleaning and care. I was glued to his presentations as he used special organic minerals from the Dead Sea, and I watched how the minerals washed through the rug fibers and vacuumed them out through the back. His pattern vacuum technique was the only method that ran the used solution through the rug and then into the tubing until the water was clear, indicating that the rug was free of all of the pee and odor. Wow, this looked like the odor and dirty pee accumulating from years of dog traffic and worse, would be cleaned at last. And guess what? Pet Pee Pee guarantees it. They are nationwide with UPS Pickup. I texted Mr. Martin a photo and he texted me back in 10 minutes. He gave me a price and told me the weight and also told me something about my rug. I followed Mr. Martin's video on folding and bagging for shipping. That same day, UPS came to the door and off it went 3,000 miles to Florida. And guess what? My home is already smelling better. Thank you so much, Pet Pee Pee, for saving my dear sister's rug. It means more to me than you will ever know. My dog peed on the carpet and 